Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Quiet Taste. I'm Darnell. We have Maris. Maris. And today we're trying Mutant Super Soda. By Monster. By Monster. Says there's nothing soft about this drink. Mutant is a defiant new breed with an attitude all of its own. <laughs> it's the evolution of sparkling refreshment. Mm. The perfect balance of drinkability and energizing flavor. Mm. Refreshment. Energize. Red Dawn is the name of this flavor. Red Dawn. Isn't there a movie, Red yes, Dawn? Yes, there yeah. is a movie, Red Dawn. But yeah, I was going to say, is there a movie? Is that... so it seems like they're trying to, like a soda energy energy drink i guess right or like flavored sodas, flavored sodas. does it say that it's energy well, it yeah. doesn't ha i don't think it's an actual energy drink i think it's actually flavored soda does it have it's, taurine and shit it has 115 milligrams whoa of okay it's <laughs> a lot of caffeine <laughs> that's like three cups of coffee yeah. which is still nothing for me <laughs> so let's see um let's go to ingredients uh carbonated water high fructose corn syrup go figure <laughs> Uh, orange juice, concentrate. Uh, concentrate? I cannot say that word. Concentrate. Okay. Citric acid. Uh, sodium benzoate? Uh, yes, it does. Vitamin uh, C and sodium benzoate again. Potassium <laughs> sorbate, sodium citrate, caffeine, gum, arabic, sodium benzoate, natural flavor, ester gum, uh, red 40, uh, Pyroxene hydrochloride. What? Yeah. Pyridoxine hydro. Yeah, Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Did you just? <coughs> did it really say hydrochloride, or is it just? Yeah, it's uh, py pyridoxine. Hydrochloride. Holy yeah. shit. Um, sixty milligrams of sodium, seventy-two grams of carbs, seventy-two grams of sugar, zero protein. Oh, I can't. It's not a not a substitute for protein, people. Sorry. <laughs> All right. It smells familiar. Oh, that does smell very familiar. Um, we just drank something that tasted. It smells like that. That was it that black like, label. Yeah, it smells like black label. That no, Mountain also, Dew black label. And I don't drink Mountain Dew. It actually smells like Code Red. See, I don't drink Code Red. I, I see. Don't, here's yeah. my thing. I'm allergic to red dye. It makes me get sick. Mm -hmm. So usually I try not to do anything. This is more pink, so this shouldn't be too bad. That's good. Um, but like Mountain Dew Code Red, like any of those red drinks, mm -hmm. I automatically stay away from because like Sabret Hot Dogs make me sick because of the red dye in them, Hawaiian Punch, certain lollipops. So like... I'm a little skittish, so I've never had the Code Red, but that also smells like another energy drink that we had. Um, I don't want to say Liquid Ninja. I don't think it was Liquid, mm. liquid Ninja. I don't know. There's so many we tried. Yeah, it? I know, but it was, it was, oh, the Romulan Ale. That's what oh, that okay. shit smells like. It's Romulan Ale. It's berry. That's, it's got a certain berry, like sweet berry flavor to it. Yeah, it definitely smells yeah, like, it smells a, like it now, a yeah. Romulan Ale. Which, if you're not familiar, there's two types of Romulan ale, because I'm a Trekkie. There is a Romulan ale, which is an alcoholic beer that is blue that you can get. And then they have a Romulan ale, which is a blue energy drink, in, still in the little Romulan ale can with all the writing and everything like that on it. But um, they have two of them. So if you like beer, I would try the real Romulan ale. I drank it at the Star Trek Experience in Vegas when I went out there, which has since closed. Um... But I prefer the energy drink because I'm not a drinker. So <laughs> let's, uh, here we go. Here we go. On side. It, it tastes like cold red to me. Like, I don't really drink cold red. Um, I don't like Mountain Dew actually at all. But I remember a couple times I had to drink it. Like, when I was younger. There's nothing in the fridge. You had to drink it. You can I, drink water, you know. <laughs> yeah, what I, I'm talking about when I was a teenager here. You can still no drink, drink water. water. You know when <laughs> no, drink, we don't drink water. Teenagers don't drink water. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, I hate Mountain Dew, but you know what? There's some cold bread in there. I'm going to drink it. I'm thirsty. And that's what, to me, that's what it tastes like, I think. To me, it doesn't have a flavor. I, um, it's like Let a sweet, sweet seltzer water. 
with like, well, maybe I shouldn't shouldn't say it doesn't have any flavor. It's like a sweet seltzer water with something very mellow to it. It's not like a, like an overly sweet. It's just, it's not bad. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, I, 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 it, for me, it tastes like cold red, but cold red it doesn't really have a, like, a, a, like you can't explain flavor. like that's the flavor. Like the, yeah, that's like the that Mountain Dew Dark and the Mountain Dew um, Frost or Arctic or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like they don't really have flavors per yeah. se. It's just kind of like, like uh, it's okay. little different. Yeah. It's like it's not Mountain Dew. That's what it is. It's not Mountain Dew, but it's something a little something different. Like, yeah. yeah, it's um, eh, I uh, I'll give it a three. I mean, it's not terrible. It's drinkable, um, if you don't mind that style flavor. Again, for me, the color, I'm allergic to it. That's not something I would drink. I'm interested to see if they continue to put out different flavors. Like if they had like a blue raspberry or a grape or maybe like an apple or something like that might be pretty good. Watermelon wouldn't be too bad, as long as it's not as red. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's not terrible. I think they also have like a lime Oh, okay. A lime one might not be like bad. That, a lemon or lime flavor or something. I would want. I wonder if it's a stronger flavor than it, because usually lime and lemon tends to stick out more, especially when they start adding like the citric acid and the, and the uh, maltic acid and stuff like that. How mm. it like really brings out those citrus flavors. So uh, I'll see if I run across across any other flavors. Um, I'll give it a five. Mm. Um, it's, it's not that bad. I, you know, I'm kind of used to that taste, so I'm, uh, more of a more used to it, I guess, but I give it a five. It's not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be buying this, but it's it's okay. I can see someone liking it, mm. you know, who likes uh, the stuff, but it's okay. So uh, that's that's uh, what is this? This is mutant mutant super soda. That's that. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out on Facebook and uh, Twitter and our Patreon, patreoncom TV. Also check us out on Twitch, which we're streaming right now. Uh, the Dino TV um, and subscribe and like the show and uh, check us out on Patreon um, patreon.com yes. Dino TV got some cool stuff over there too yes and uh, we'll catch you guys next time bye bye